The Labour Party has committed to high-speed trains to both Geelong and Ballarat if it wins the November election. That means both parties have now promised fast rail. But with so many other projects on the go, it could take 10 years to deliver. Nick Etchells reports. Seldom has a train station played host to so many promises. We want to deliver high-speed rail connections. That was Labor's pledge to Geelong in May. This was the Coalition's two weeks ago. Geelong in 32 minutes, Ballarat in 45 minutes. Then today, on the very same platform... Fast rail to Geelong, to Ballarat. Labor has its eye on a three-stage western rail plan with electrification to Melton and Wyndham Vale, a possible tunnel from Sunshine to the city and separated high-speed rail lines to Ballarat and Geelong. Unlocking the potential to run more trains at much higher speed. That could mean Melbourne to Ballarat in under an hour and Melbourne to Geelong in 35 minutes. It will be brilliant because I love Geelong and I work in Melbourne. That will be, I can wait until that done. But there are catches. Well, this, this project is the best part of 10 years' work. And in the fine print, Labor has actually only committed to $100 million for planning. The choice is between Daniel Andrews' plan for a plan, plan to employ more consultants, or our plan, which is to get on and build. The Coalition says it can get high-speed rail built within four years. Premier Andrews' press release today says only a re-elected Andrews government can deliver fast rail to the regions. Politics is often about what people will believe, and he says his plan is eminently more believable. Now to convince voters. I won't be seeing it in my lifetime. Nick Etchells, 10 Eyewitness News.